we have already discussed the five factors contributing to the lifetime value of an employee to the organization and the value that one creates for the for the particular year for which the assessment is made those who have not gone through my previous two episodes i request you to please go through 31 32 33 so that you are familiar with what we are discussing here we will start with contribution of the performance skill of an employee by allocating a value to the past present and future skills this is highly subjective and differs on the nature of the job industry trends and organization mission while past skills provide a foundation it may not really represent employees current capabilities and hence the value that you may attribute to this could be 20 to 30% of the total lifetime value on the skills that you want to give present skill shows the current effectiveness in contributing to the organization and therefore it can be valued from 40 to 50% of the total contribution future skills indicate employees readiness to adapt to the future requirements and generally considers to contribute to the long term success of the organization or vision and therefore the lifetime value of the employee could be 20 to 30% of the total performance skill skills factors like teamwork leadership communication and ethical values may be considered pa- part of past present and future performance skills and could vary from 10 to 20% in each of these values as you keep allocating therefore factor a is taken as 0.20 within brackets past skills plus 0.50 within brackets present skills plus 0.30 within bracket future skills as mentioned earlier the proportion will vary based on industry trends and organization goals for instance in it environment the past skills would have become redundant and therefore it could be 0.50 of present skills and 0.50 of future skills could be considered as adequate whereas in a traditional manufacturing industry where human efficiency is highly rated we perhaps would concentrate on past and the present skills giving them 50% for the past skills and 50% of the present skills as future skills may not be applicable in this case in the next episode we are going to calculate factor b for biological age and contributions because of different biological age as compared to the chronological age